What up, what up? Winboys here. And today I'm excited to show you guys how we can take some of the materials that you already have collected over the past couple of years, whether it's in Redshift, Octane, Arnold, Ray, whatever, we can still use those within Unreal Engine. And so without further ado, let's jump right into it. So first I'm going to show you guys how we can use Octane and Arnold materials from rdtextures.com. There is a caveat for these to work in Unreal that do have to have texture maps on there. You can't do it procedurally, but let me show you an example right here. And so if you go to rd-textures.com, a lot of the materials here are using Octane and Arnold. So if I come over here to the shop, they actually have some free ones that you could download so if i click on freebies you guys can follow along with the one i'm going to be using here but if i scroll down here on the website i'm actually going to be using this one here called coffee beans in which i believe they gave a 4k and an 8k texture and so i already downloaded this earlier if i go into my windows file explorer go to my coffee beans you can see we have cinema 4d setups already for arnold octane and v-ray and if i look inside a texture folder we here we have our 4k materials and our 8k materials now using the power of quixel bridge we can actually take these materials into bridge and make it a one-click solution for taking it into unreal engine and so i'm going to start by opening up quixel bridge and what quixel bridge is it's a whole photogrammetry library from quixel where they give you a bunch of textures 3d models a bunch of different decals and things of that nature but we can also use this as a resource to collect all of our own materials that we want to add in here and so if i come over to file i have two options here i can either import the asset or import a zip file which i found importing asset was always the best solution so if i click on import asset and then i just need to find that material that i downloaded so i'm going to be using the one that was coffee beans and then i'm going to come down here into the text folder double click on this and then i just want to select the folder right here like so and now we pop up with this import menu where we can start you know making sure our textures are importing correctly and we have everything the way that we need it to be and so for name i'm just going to actually name this one coffee and then for type i'm going to leave it at surfaces resolution we do have ak in here so i'm going to leave it at ak you can select the category if you want to but i usually just leave these blank and then surface size i just leave this blank as well so if i scroll down here this is where we can start importing some of our files and as you notice it imported all the 4k ones but i want to import the 8k ones because from there i can actually export these out to unreal whether it be 8k 4k or 2k as long as i have the highest resolution i have those other resolutions at my disposal and so what i'm going to do from here is click on albedo and i'm just going to start replacing these out and so i'm going to look for my albedo layer which is your color layer so i'm going to click on this one click open and it just replaced it so i'm just going to go through and replace all these different ones so i have my ambient occlusion i'm going to do the bump map here then come down here to gloss i'm going to replace this one with the ak gloss come down here to normal i'm going to replace the normal and if you notice we do have a normal and a bump map in here but quixel bridge is smart enough to know which one to use for unreal engine so i'm just going to import everything that we have in here just so we have some options in case you did want to export this out for cinema 40 or 3d max or anything of that nature you have those options as well so i'm going to finish off with the roughness 8k and that should be everything there and so oh one more thing displacement let me make sure i don't have a displacement in which i think i do actually and so yep right here the depth so i'm going to actually come to displacement make sure i click on this one ak depth so it's just a good idea to make sure you go through here make sure you have everything you need and once you do it actually gives you a preview file here which i think this looks fine so i'm just going to click import all and while this is importing here i'm actually going to open up unreal engine so i'm just going to go to my epic games launcher and i'm going to launch version 4.26 which is the latest version here so i'm going to launch this one and then from here i'm going to come down to film television live events i mean you can pick any template you want but i like starting off with this one starting off with a blank slate and then right here i'm just going to name this one tutorial I could put ray tracing on but it doesn't matter for this example then i'm just going to click create project and while this is going i'm going to actually come back to quixel bridge and where i'm going to find that file that i just imported is under local here so if i come over here and click on local down here under imported this is where we have our imported file so if i click on this right here you see that it shows us a display of what we're about to import if i look down here in the bottom right 
I should be able to select up to 8K. So I have 8K, 4K, and 2K coming out of here. And then if I click on this little gear, like they did just upport bridge. So let me show you this real quick. So if I come over to export settings, this is where we select where we want to target our export. So right now I have it selected for Unreal version 4.26. But like I was saying before, we can actually export out to 3D Max, Maya, Unity, Blender, Houdini, anything under the sun for the most part. But I'm going to leave it at Unreal Engine. And if this is your first time using it, it's actually going to have a little button under here that's going to ask you to install it, which is a live link to that program. So let me actually show you a program that I don't have so you can see what that looks like. So I don't have 3D Max on here. So if I select this, this is like my first time using it. It will say download plugin. It will download the plugin for whatever application you want to download it for. And then once it's done, let's say it come to Cinema 4D, it will say installed and you should be good to go from there. But again, I'm going to come back to Unreal Engine. I'm going to click on back here and let me make sure everything is set up inside of Unreal Engine. So I'm going to select this. And I'm actually just going to delete the floor. This is Unreal here. I'm just going to delete some of these things in here. Make sure that I have everything going that I need. And then down here in the bottom right hand corner where it says new plugins, I'm going to dismiss, update project file. And one way to make sure that you have the live link connected to Unreal is if you look in the center right here, you'll see a big green button for Mega Scans. That means you did download the plugin correctly and you should be good to go. So let me come back over to Bridge. And from here, I'm actually going to click on 8K. And I'm going to click on Export. In the top right, you'll see Export to Unreal Engine. It should only take a few moments, but if you look down here in the bottom right, you can actually see the tab that's telling you to progress everything. So right now it's saying converting one of three textures. But once that's done in the upper right hand corner, it's actually going to say export successful. And then that's when we'll jump back into Unreal. And there we go. Export successful, like I was saying. So I'm just going to minimize this. And if you come back to Unreal, you should see this little box here. It's going to say importing. This should only take a few moments as well. And there we go. We can see we have everything imported. If I look at my content browser, it automatically opened up the folder. But if it didn't for you, all you have to do, this is your content folder. You would come over here to where it says Mega Scans. Double click on this. Double click on Surfaces. And this is where it's having your material pack, which I had named Coffee. So I'm going to double click on that. And these are all the materials that are brought over. And then if I double click on this one right here, the sphere, this shows us everything, all the parameters and everything that are connected also. So we don't have to do any type of blueprinting or manually bring these in. It brings it automatically in for us. Like if I click on hierarchy right here and look at the master material, you can see all the programming that it did for you. Like we didn't have to manually come in and connect all these nodes. It just automatically did it. And so from here, basically like if we want to do tiling, we could click on this maybe do like five by five. So this is one of the cool things about using Quixel Bridge is you don't have to have any knowledge of how the material system works inside of Unreal. You can easily import your stuff in the bridge one click solution out to Unreal and you're good to go. You can just drag and drop from there and you should be good. So let me click save on here. And I'm actually going to bring in a plane over here. So I'm going to come over to basics, drop a plane in here. And then on my right hand side here under details, I'm going to reset the default. I'm going to lock this in. Maybe let's make this 10. And then also my lights real quick. I'm going to make it movable. Click my plane again. I'm just going to drag and drop this on here. And if I scroll into here, now you see we have our coffee bean materials in here. And so, like I was saying before, this all came from that one website right here. I downloaded it from rdtextures.com. And if I look inside my materials panel here, remember they had it set up for Octane, V-Ray, and Arnold. So like I was saying, you do have to have these image files in order for this to work. This won't work if you're using something procedurally using Octane or V-Ray or whatever. But if you do have some type of collection like this, this is an easy way to get going. For this next example, I'm just going to show you a generic PBR material set that I'm going to take over from GameTextures.com and show you how to basically do the same thing, bring it into Quixel Bridge, and then bring it into Unreal. So this is GameTextures.com. Again, we have a section here for freebies. So if I click on this, I'm actually going to use this cool one down here called Pile of Skulls. So all you have to do is make an account and you can download this for free. So once you click on download, you get your material set. This is what it's going to give you here. So if I come back into my Windows Explorer, we have ambient occlusion. We have our base color. We have height. We have roughness. So again, I'm going to bring this into Quixel Bridge. So it automatically inputs everything. And then it's a one click solution from there. So I'm going to open up Bridge again. And then I'm going to come up to file, come down to import asset. 
and then i'm just going to find that material pile of scars right here and then i'm going to select the folder and there we go i'm going to name this one skulls and then i'm going to leave it at surfaces this resolution is at 4k and if i look down here it should have everything imported here so let me open this up and come side by side just to make sure and so we have our albedo which is basically our base color here we have our ambient occlusion we do have our displacement let's see we have our metallic we have our normal map we have opacity and we have roughness so it looks like we have everything we do have an emissive file but i don't think this is really doing anything anyway so i'm not going to bother with it so if i scroll down here and bridge it also gave us this little icon here so we know exactly what we're getting and so i'm pretty happy with all these parameters here i'm just going to click import all and it looks like everything imported but we don't see the square here so to get around that i usually just click off it and then i click back on it and now we should see it there so if i click on our new skulls that we just brought in you can see down here it's saying download and that's because right now i have it selected at 8k in which we don't have an 8k resolution the highest was 4k for this one so all I have to do is select 4K and now we have the export here. So I'm going to make sure that I have Unreal selected. I'm going to click on the gear, go to export settings. So I have Unreal 4.26. Then I'm going to click export from here. So it looks like everything imported. I'm going to click right here under my content browser where it says surfaces, click on skulls, and there we go. So same thing again. If I click and drag this on here just to replace it, now we have our skulls here and let's say that's too many so i double click on my material again under these parameters i could go on talent let's maybe do 10 by 10 click save and there we go so now we have a pilot full of skulls here in which you see some flickering that's just the wireframe if i select this and hit g that takes everything away from our thing so it looks all clean here so these are Apollo skulls here that we have in our scene. All right, last but not least, for our last example, I'm going to show you how we could take our ridge shift materials into Unreal. But this one has a caveat. I'm going to be using the texture pack from the Pixel Lab. Make sure you get on to the description. I had to drop that in real quick, but I do have an affiliate link with these guys. And so I'm going to be using a material pack three. And the one thing with the Pixel Lab, if you notice that it's giving us a lib4d file in which everything is condensed into this one file here. And so we don't have the textures that we could just select and import in the Quixel bridge, but I do have a solution on how we could use this in Cinema 4D and still be able to get this into Unreal Engine. And so if I come over to Cinema 4D, I'm in my content browser right now, I'm looking at my material pack. And if you don't know how to get this, I mean, you can actually just click and drag this over here and it should bring up the content browser here. And so if I'm looking through here, let's say maybe I want to look at ceramic and I kind of like this bathroom tile right here. So it's as easy as actually, let me do this one right here. The Portuguese one. I'm going to click and drag that down here into my materials palette down here. And that's the only thing that I have to do. I don't have to attach it to anything or anything of that nature. I just have to make sure that it's active in my scene here. And this next tip here comes from Logan, AKA Hollow Woodsman. Make sure you guys show him some support on YouTube there. He's doing some cool stuff, working with cinema and Unreal Engine. So make sure you guys follow Logan here on YouTube as well. And so as I was saying, this tip came from Logan. If I come over to file and then say project is assets, all I have to do is let's name this one bath towel for my project and then i'm just going to save it here so if i come over to my file explorer let me come over to my projects bath towel and there we go so we have our cinema 4d project here but you also recognize that we have a texture folder here too and so this gives us everything that we need to bring into quixel bridge and so one thing i'm going to do instead of naming this one text i'm going to name this one bath towel just because when we bring it into bridge, it's actually gonna pull the name from this folder here. So I didn't want it to be named text. So I have Quixel bridge open, same process as before. I'm gonna come over to file, import asset. And then I'm gonna look for the folder that saved the bath towels in. So I'm gonna click on this. And then again, the bath towel, because remember we renamed it. So I'm gonna double click on that and then select folder. And there we go, we have our import settings. So I'm gonna leave this at bath towel. I'm gonna leave it as a surface, 4K resolution. And then the one thing that I do notice here is that it put it into the diffuse folder, which I do believe is going to give us a problem. So instead of here and diffuse, I'm actually going to turn this off and turn on albedo and I'm going to put it into the albedo instead. So it's going to be this one. It's going to be labeled diffuse. But if you look at it, this is our albedo file. So I'm going to click open here and then I'm going to scroll down, make sure I have everything else. So I have displacement, 
I have ceramic normal. And if I look at my file, my folders over here, I believe it's these four here. So it looks like we have everything. If I scroll down, I have my preview in here. I'm going to click import all. And it looks like the import successful. So I'm going to click off it and then I'm going to click back on import it. And here we have our ceramic tile. So I'm going to click on this and I should have all my settings good to go. So I'm just going to click on export. All right, export successful to Unreal. So I'm actually gonna open up Unreal Engine, click OK. And if I look down here into my surfaces, you should see a folder here for a bath towel. So I'm gonna double click on that and we have our bath towel here. So I'm actually just gonna click and drag that over here. And we have it, it's pretty large here, but it looks pretty good. So if I double click on it, again, I could change out the tiling size. So maybe let's say five by five. And if you ever want to change any of these parameters, it comes with a whole bunch of them. So you can actually change the color. You can mess with the specular, the roughness, the normals and everything else. So do go through here and kind of manipulate these as you want. But I'm going to click save. And there we go. So we have our tiles over here from the Pixel Lab and it looked pretty good. And we have them in Unreal Engine. We didn't have to go into blueprints and mess with any nodes or anything. It's pretty much just a drag and drop solution. So hopefully this helped you guys out. For anybody that has a whole amount of collections that they had over the past couple of years. And they still want to use it when they go into Unreal. So hopefully this helped you guys out. I know over the past year I've had a lot of people kind of leery about making a full jump into Unreal. Because they have such a big investment into their materials pack. Whether it's Octane, Redshift, or Arnold. And so hopefully this shows you that you could use a lot of materials that you've already purchased inside of Unreal Engine. And so that way you're not missing out on using your favorite materials and so if this did help you out make sure you leave me a comment down below and again i do have an affiliate link with the pixel lab so make sure you look down in the description for that and until next time stay fresh keep creating and i'll catch you in the next video make sure you subscribe take care